It's a two-day event to mark the third anniversary of Mr. Yinka Odumaki's exit from this world. Activists, friends and relatives of the departed gather around his grave at his residence in Muru, Ocean State, to remind themselves that although gone, the activist still lives in their hearts. The next day, activists moved to the Obafemi Awolowo University, Lefe, for an interfaculty debate and public lecture where issues of national concern are underscored and reminiscences of the struggles of the late human rights activist reverberates round the hall. His wife and colleagues describe him as a selfless, fearless and dogged fighter for the rights of the common man and progress of Nigeria. Inka will have more than 30 programs in one day. So committed. But despite that, he was still able to balance the state of affairs of Nigeria and the family. He could have been minister, he could have been, you know, I'm even, I was, I mean, I, 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 I'm aware that uh, some were even chasing him around with uh, offers of appointments. You know, but he wasn't interested in that. He was much more interested. His concern was with the progress of the people, the progress of the country. You know, not individual, whatever you can become as an individual. Yinka Odumaki was great. He was principled. But we had our differences. He remained principled in advocating, advocating policies and programs in favor of the oppressed strata of Nigeria. A professor of dramatic arts who represented human rights lawyer, Mr. Femi Falano, describes student unionism as practiced during Ojumakin's time as setting the pace for the struggle for justice and equity in the country. Students' unions should collaborate with the trade unions in and outside the campuses to defend the right of Nigerians to education. The takeover of the Nigerian economy by imperialism must not be allowed by the academic community. The student union government explains their decision to honor him. I look at it and I saw that, okay, somebody like Ian Kaudumaki, it's a big honor to have him and to be able to celebrate him. The Ian Kaudumaki interfaculty debate had the faculties of law, agriculture, technology and arts as participants with the faculty of law emerging winner. After the debate, prizes are presented to the winners by the Olui Inka Odumaki Foundation in memory of an illustrious alumnus of the university. Ukola Uriu, Channel Television News.